Hey, how you guys doing today? This is going to be a review on the new Tonton Art Toys Berserker Blue, also known as Vegeta Blue Evolution. Uh, these are only the head sculpts, no bodies, but they're definitely great and a nice addition to any Dragon Ball collection. Artwork looks nice. Nice artwork on the back. Yeah, this one this one I ended up getting online. Um definitely about what was it like $70? Yeah, it's already uh aftermarket. He's already sold out pretty much from the normal places like Omnime and 5K. But uh, I'm pretty sure they'll do restocks, but they do still have them in AliExpress. I have not ordered from there yet. I'll probably order a second copy of this just to test it out and see how it gets here. Um, I've ordered two things in the past, but sometimes the boxes come beat up. But the, the item is definitely accurate and it's the real thing. So I'll probably try that out. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and check this out and uh, see what we got. Okay, so this is what it looks like outside the box. It looks like he comes with six face plates all together and then it also comes just like the other ones with the uh neck peg which is awesome i think this is very cool right here so you know for those that have broken neck pegs or you know for all we know it could be for the uh demon eichel fit majin vegeta since that's the only one that didn't have a, a compatible neck peg with sh figures vegeta so either way it's awesome we get a lot in this little package so that's awesome Let's go ahead and look at the individual faces real quick. So this is the uh, the first face. The uh, serious face looks really awesome. The lines and the details. I mean, it, it looks like Vegeta. It really does. And then the hair, of course, you know, that, that goes without saying. You know, it's got some nice shading. The hair is longer. It's bigger the way it's supposed to be for Blue Evolution. So, yeah, they look they look awesome. Let's check out the next one. This is the, uh, see if I can get that to focus better. There you go. That's the uh, Smirk, which is also awesome. Uh, and you can see that he has the glare on all these eyes, definitely the way it should be. So that looks cool. Here's the yelling face. Looks awesome, right? Here is the he got punched in the face look, which I know everybody's going to have fun with, so that's awesome. Here is the teeth gritted, also looks good. Like I said, those lines on the uh, around the eyes, the details are just nice. And we have last but not least, I think every single, I think so far every single um, kit has had one faceplate that's unique to the to that kit, which is awesome. I think that was a nice touch. And this one has the uh, extremely, really shouting, expressive face, which is my favorite in this packaging. So it looks awesome. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of head swapping on bodies. Um, I know that one of my favorite things to do and look at so i got i got hot water in a cup right here on the side so that we can definitely make sure um i don't break any pegs you definitely need to warm this up and like i said uh in a cup i think i said in the last couple videos of the tones in the uh, brand um this this plastic or the um the material they use is definitely a lot more softer you don't have to apply a lot of heat very little goes a long way and these things really fit in snug so definitely let's go so this is going to be the um the sh fig yards um super saiyan vegeta body the old one let's go ahead and put that on there let me go ahead and do that real quick and I like to straighten that out Okay, it's being a little bit, okay, maybe a little more water, real quick. This should do it. And yep, there you go. There you go. So the first plate we're going to, first face plate we're going to try on is going to be The uh, oh, let's not do that one. Let's do let's do this one first. It's gonna be the uh, the teeth gritted. So 
So yeah, there you go. That looks really good. All right, let me bring that up closer so you guys can see that. I want the details to show. So yeah, that looks good, right? Teeth gritted, SH Vague Yards, the old Vegeta Super Saiyan body. Looks nice, right? Make sure the focus gets in. There you go. Looks cool. And he definitely has no issue moving his head about the way he should. So, awesome. Alright, next body we're going to try it on is going to be the SH Figure Arts Dark Armor from the Broly movie. Definitely going to try it on this one next. Go ahead and get the... Uh... Let's take this off. And try to pop that back out. There you go. Relative ease. So that's cool. Let's see if um it's enough to go on right now. The, the, the heat that I applied the last time. This one does this peg does not stay still. Yeah, see that one's a little more. I'm trying to get it on there. And there you go. Okay, good. Cool. All right, the faceplate we're going to try on this one is going to be... We're going to do the smirk. Definitely. So, yeah, that looks nice. So, yeah, there you go. Let's get the details up close. And like I've always said on these uh, on these armored bodies, you don't have to worry about skin tone matching because the only skin you really see is on the neck, and that's like very pretty much out of the way actually. So yeah, that looks awesome, right? Good. Let me show you from the whole body. You get that focus in there. There you go. Looks nice, right? All right. So next we're gonna do the SH Figure Arts, um, the Vegeta from the new superhero movie. This is where that body is from, and then we're going to try to pop this one in, see if I can still do it without applying any more heat. Let's see if it works. Yeah, and... Yeah, I might have to do a little bit. Alright, I applied a little more hot water again. Um... Or on the third figure, yeah, this one's definitely um, not staying where I need it to. Okay, this one's being a little difficult. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go um, a little off camera to get that. I had needed the right leverage. This one was the peg on this one was not staying still. So, but anyways, I got it on. The next one we're gonna do is the uh, the serious face. The serious face for sure. See, and the good thing about, I'm looking at the skin tone right now, and the skin tone matches beautifully with this figure for sure. This is the SH Figure Arts. One more time, just to reiterate, uh, Vegeta from the superhero movie. And the skin tone matches perfectly. Like, it really does. Wow. And then there you go. Nice detail. That's what he looks like. Looks nice, right? All right, let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Hopefully, yeah, it came off easily. Okay, good. Next body we're going to do is going to be the uh, new SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta body. So, yeah, let me see if it definitely will go in the first try. Hopefully it does. Let me adjust this this way. Yeah, I don't like it when these pegs are slipping, sliding everywhere. I'm trying to get the right leverage. And there you go, I got it. Okay, cool. So now we're going to try. Okay, so now we're going to try this one right here. That it would be the uh, he's getting punched in the face look. So yeah, there you go. 
Definitely got punched in the face right there, right? So, looks good. I like it. All right, next we're going to try it on. This is the Demoniacal Fit Bitter Awakening Super Saiyan Vegeta body. So, we're going to try it on this one next. Let's go ahead and take this one off. Make sure it comes off easily still. There you go. Okay, and hopefully I still I don't need to rewarm it up again. If one thing I like about the neck pad on this one, it definitely stays in place. So that's cool. There you go, and it's already in. Okay, we're gonna do the uh, the yelling face. But not the other one yet, quite yet. Um, so far, I've been doing one different face plate on each of these bodies to get a better all-around look. So that's cool. So yeah, there you go. That is, one more time, the Demoniacal Fit Bitter Awakening Vegeta body. So yeah, looks good, right? Looks good. Let's get that detail up. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, the detail on these faceplates is definitely sick. It really is. You really can't complain, really. I mean, if you do, it's okay, but, you know, I don't have any complaints, so. It looks like this one, yeah, there you go. It moves all around nicely. So, yeah, looks good. All right, I definitely gave it another round of warming it up with the warm water so that I have no issues. I'm not trying to break any pegs. Okay, so this right here is the Demonical Fit uh, Deep Blue Vegeta body. So, there you go. Popped in nicely. And on this one, we're going to try the, the really screaming face. The extreme scream face. Let's see how that one looks. There you go. Look at that. Looks good, right? Make sure I get the uh, focus right. There you go. That looks good, right? Nice. Let's get the front close view. Yeah, that looks good. Like I said, the armored bodies, is, they're awesome because they don't show much skin tone. And you really can put a multiple face types, so that's cool. Multiple head sculpts. So that looks awesome. All right, that pretty much covers all the face plates. I'm going to use this one one more time on this body here i have the uh smirk face again and this right here is the uh kong studios ultra ego body um surprisingly like i said i think the last video i was surprised that it did fit on this peg because you can see the peg is like thick down here but apparently the uh the ball itself is about the same size as an sh figure arts ball so that somehow worked out nicely so all right, let me see if it can go in with the first try. This one I really have no problem. You don't really, I really don't have a fear of breaking because it's such a thick peg. Yeah, let me warm that up a little more, real quick. And this should be it. And. There you go, it's getting in there. There you go. Yeah, and it doesn't like, like it's a nice fit. It doesn't like move around or it's not loose or anything. Like it just works. Even though the peg is thick in that little area right there. So, all right, and there we go. One more time, just to reiterate this is the Kong Studios Ultra Ego Training Suit Battle Damage Body. And surprisingly, the skin tone also matches. You guys can see for yourselves. Yeah, right? The skin tone matches beautifully. Let me get that. See if I can get it a little clearer. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, dude, I like these. They, the skin tone matches perfectly. Well, definitely love it. I love this. This smirk looks awesome. So, yeah, there you go. Well, 
I hope you guys enjoyed everything you saw. Let me know what you guys think about all the bodies I used, all the head, how the head sculpts look in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what kind of feedback you guys got. And um, I will see you guys next time. And if you guys enjoyed this, please like, please subscribe. You guys take care.